Really had to fight everyone. He fought me, he fought O'Reilly, he fought Plup. Now, he fought Dwan. He fought West Balls. Seriously, Kelly had the hardest bracket in the entire. Perfect tech chase so far. Looking good from Plup. Missing that tech away roll. So hard to cover. Good DI from Kelly on the up air. Debating. Okay, so let's let's talk about this matchup at large. Fox does pretty good. The only way she can win is by having ground dominance and edge guarding. Right? Any other time in the matchup, Fox is winning, hands down. Yeah. Okay, see Kelly always opting for one aerial. I wanna see Wayland grab or something else. He just he, he does the safest thing. Ooh, there we go. That was nice. Yeah. I mean, a lot of what Plup found success in earlier when he beat West Balls was that he would beat the spacey to where they wanted to go. He did a lot of like movement reading, and his yes. edge guarding was incredible. Yes. Dude, nice with roll. with Sheik, you have to do movement reading because she's not innately fast. But she's got great aerials to cover where you want to cover. Yeah, but her arrows are really awkward. Her short hop is terrible. In comparison with like the high cast, wow. and she has to predict so much. Oh, oh my God, Kells again! I'm not saying that she has great like aerials as far as like hitboxes go, but like the 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 way they send and what they cover. Like if she covers with fair, like it sends so low. Yes. And uh, yes. back air is the one that'll stay out and like yeah, cover dude. for an extended period of time. So she's got two different aerials that can do two different things. Her aerials and Nair. Don't forget Nair. But, Nair, of course. Uh, yeah. Nair's dude. like back air, except back air's got better knockback. Yeah. Dude, there. She has good aerials. She's just really bad at jumping. Oh, Kels with a short. Yeah, six short. And Kels is just cooking right now. He needs to keep the stock. Yeah. Oh, the down yeah. tilt. He caught a caught a so risky. Up the yeah. Yeah. So risky. Up He's there. a liar. Oh, oh no. Okay. He knows his percentages. I don't think it mattered. He he was gonna up air no matter what. Yeah. Nice. Good shine. Really good shine. Oh, that's a lot of free laser damage. Yeah. Don't. No. 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 It was not a lot. Yeah. Kels can't get stuffed. Oh, what? Yeah, he called in, but then missed in. Yeah, he, he just missed base's grab. It's because he's moving so quickly and playing so commit free. <laughs> just oh, slapped no. him. It's important to, to play so fast, though, for mind game reasons. I mean, that's what Plup does. The way he plays neutral, he plays like in this tight little zone where it's dangerous, but at the same time, it's so rewarding. It's called tight roping. It's called tight roping? Yeah. That's what I should call it from now on. Well, it's it's... I, I saw Shroom do it. It's where like you get up from the edge and then you just play on that little sliver of ground because pros they space so good that they won't res they they don't respect that part. Right. That you're gonna tighten. They expect you to approach. You just make do with what little space you have. Exactly. Even when, he, ground. even when he has the the space he like in the corner though, the way he mixes up like his little short hop aerial approaches. Sometimes he'll empty hop. Sometimes he'll just do like needles into nothing. Sometimes he'll needles into aerial. It's like he has so many, and it's so many different spacings and difficult things to deal with. Wow, Kels is shining out of shining these tech chases so like super well. I don't like how Kelly is going to the middle ground. He's just losing oh. to every single aerial Pluck throws out. That should be back air. Oh, that was incredible wow. DI! I can't believe that. Back air, up slash, oh, what, what, oh. anything! Oh, he just comes no, out don't with don't die, don't oh, die from this. I swear to God, don't Ledge die. dash. Oh, he got him. <laughs> God. Bro not biased at all. <laughs> Kelly. Dude, he, oh, Kelly. Well, honestly, the DI was so good because Plop's like excellent way that he's been killing people is with the soft back air into the fair. Everyone knows that one. Yeah, but Kel's DI perfectly outside the soft back air so the fair wouldn't connect. DI down. That's the one, man. In place. Out. Nope, nothing. In place. Oh, wrong again. Man. Oh, that's amazing tech chasing. Wow, Kels did not DI well on that. Well, fair no. Yeah, he was not ready for it. Plop with a pretty flawless first stock. Yeah, dude. Good roll, but Kelly sniffs it out with that shine. Unfortunately, with Sheik, the shine is so hard that you have to be perfect. It's not like Marth. Whoa! He made it on stage, too. That was interesting, the trick worked. See, I kind of like... See, this is the typical Fox counterpick against uh, Sheik. But Kels is trying to camp like he has a top platform, and he doesn't have that. Oh, back here too. Oh my God, that was. Yeah, you so can go good. as low as you want. That was so low. 
Let's go as far as you want. Yeah, and Plop's abusing the fact that there's no pl top platform to him to retreat to. Because he's just slowly... Kels tries a laser and Plop just closes that gap. And then Kels is cut out of options because he's stuck in the corner. Yep. Plop's ready for when he tries to jump out. He's been he throwing aerials him. in the, the center ground so good. Yeah. Oh, oh he no. knows he's trying he to get knows. that sweet spot. This is a brutal destruction. He's looking like a force talk, man. He's edge guarding him so well. Oh my god. He's perfect edge guards. Smells terrible. Okay. Sorry guys, somebody just took a mad shit in the bathroom right next to us and it smells terrible. We're momentarily distracted. <laughs> Holding our breath just like it's Kelly so is. It's so bad. Oh, you did take a stock. Okay, now it smells like Glade. That's better. Oh, <laughs> don't no. Full hop air dodge. The classic way to get out of the corner. A bear. JD4. Oh my god. A bear. That's a counter pick stage. A and bear. I'm saying he was playing like he had top platform to get away to, and he, he couldn't get away. He was just lasering, and then he would get pinched off, and he would try to aerial out, and he would just get slapped away by Plup. Plup just constricted him in the corner so well. He's going back. What's he going to do? He's, gonna, he's, he's, not gonna, he's not gonna run to center ground like an idiot. Because that's the only reason why Plup is beating him. Kels, yeah, well, Kels was playing so defensive. He's being a little more aggressive this game. But he's not. He's gotten like three or four hits that he's just not converted anything into. Look at this, he's just nickel and diming him. Yeah, that's the Kels strategy. That is the classic Kels action. Right. Like, I'm, that. Not, I'm not gonna do anything too committal. <laughs> Any hits gonna... I get are good. Oh, then he gets grabbed and now he's gonna get tech chased. Oh, okay, that was hit. good DI. Yo, I like how Plup sniffed it out. He knew he wasn't moving. Yeah. He just comes out with the back air. Oh, he tried to cross him up. There we go. Unnecessary cross up in my opinion. Oh boy. The little legs, dude. The little legs. Ugh. Shield grab the dare? Like, yeah, on shield it's not safe. You can grab it. Oh, he got all the way in. Yeah, Kells is just counterattacking whenever he gets out of like whatever string. When he gets a little bit of room. Oh, the DI and that F throw. He went so far. Oh, he, yeah. He didn't want to get comboed. No, and the trade it benefits Plup as well. How did Kelly beat West Falls? Played super good. Oh, <laughs> got him with the up smash. Scoops, baby. Yeah. That's a good hitbox. That is a good hitbox. You know, today when I walked in, I didn't think Plup was going to be dominant, but he hasn't dropped a set. Everybody was johnning for him the whole day. Like, oh, he's been feeling terrible. He didn't get any sleep last night. And again, in the first game I saw him on stream, with, I mean, he played earlier, but I saw him play West Balls, and he like did not do well, and I was like, oh, it's looking rough for Plup. And since that one game, he's just been dude, everybody. Dude, he SDI'd that shine so perfect and F-tilted. Oh my god. That defense is incredible. Oh, and that he running down. Grab. The boost grab, dude. He's just reading the dash away. He knows Kells wants to get into that corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Second place every time. Okay, we, all right. Uh, finally gets out. One, one bad reaction. Yeah. I mean, this is a much closer game than last time. Did he jump yet? He did not. He could save on the jump. And oh, wow. Ambiguous. So good. How do you get ledger? No. Do you agree with Kels just throwing out those back airs? Yes. Oh, yes, Kelly. I do. I do. Yeah? I don't know. There's different he, ways he was to doing the right He was doing a bad timing, but I totally agree. 100%. Okay. I mean, you can just do regular get up, I suppose. But if he does like fade away up B, he can still get ledge once you give it up on regular get up. Kelly, you're not going to reach him? Oh. Nice. Oh, there we go. That's how he was doing great in game one, too. He brought it down to last stock high percentage because he kept catching him. On the edge guard. Yeah, on the edge guard. With you got those, it. You got aerials. it. Dude, that's just a great way to see all it stocks is you just read the recovery. You're just like, okay, Plup has been reading my ground game. If oh. I can just read the recovery, I'll take that stock. Oh, he's got him in the pit. Oh, he's cooking. Oh, no, he's not cooking. He's cooking. Oh, he's able to shield. How was he able to shield that? Because Kelly was doing it imperfectly. It was imperfect. Yeah. You got to be perfect. Every kick has to connect, I think. He only got like half. Ooh, okay. About even right now. 
I think the thing is too that Plup. That, oh, yes, he read the recovery. He yes, did. that was a nice shine. He's like he's been he's been snapping at edge, so I just shine the snap. Yep. Oh, he didn't have a jump. No jump. That. Yo, but the perfect I, height. Yeah. <laughs> Plup also he uh, shortened his own combo. It almost looked really oh, good. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It almost looked really good because he knocked him down, but I thought he was gonna F tilt instead of drop zone. Okay. I one like the aerial. for back here. Dude, just one aerial. Oh, you almost cut the read with that up smash, too. Oh my god. If he had spaced that up smash correctly, that would have been incredible. And he could have comboed off it as well. Oh, Gels, what are you doing? The full hop across the center of the stage like that? Oh, no. He got kicked. Okay. This is the part where Kels gets a little over aggressive and he gets punished for it. Misses a couple techs. Oh, oh that angle. Oh he went for the sock, right? He did. Oh, and I think no DI. Oh, smash DI, though. That was amazing, Smash DI. No, I have no DI. No DI, control. Smash DI is actually one of the better ones. Uh, right. DI behind Smash DI is like the, what you want. That's awful. Oh, the Nair. That should do it. Kel's on the board. First set. Plup still only needs one game to close it out, but yep. we will not see a clean Single sweep victory. here in Grand Finals. Fountain. Yeah. That's an easy counter pick. Kel's is going to struggle to throw the lasers as much on this stage. Oh, we have more viewers than Melee Nami. That's nice. Melee Nami is just Tafo talking to people right now. So. <laughs> I don't think it's a tournament. Dude, I like those talks. The problem is it's they're too long. He's, he did like a 12-hour stream today. Ooh, okay. Oh! Caught the jump. He, yeah, he knew the immediate... Oh, that smashed the eye. That was so good. I like the, uh, the grab attempt. Yeah. Okay. Kel's putting himself in co in in the corner in shield a little too much oh, for my taste. You have to bait sheep. Up smash. Nope. That was, we uh, did. Yeah. That's a tough spot. That platform's at such a weird height for Fox to punish. Dude, Plup is really good at making the ambiguous recovery. Oh god. You just missed two techs and you're dead. The platform one was harder. The down tilt one you should have got. It. Yeah. Plop's recovery game oh. reminds me of Ladandis from NorCal. He's also got a really good... Ladandis! Yeah, mix up on his recovery. You can, it's pretty... I mean, it's, you, there's a lot of things she can do to make it... Because she has to. She's got such a punishable, especially by, like, space animals, on stage recovery. Nice. There, there we finally, go. He delayed he the get up. Plop went for the ledge just one too many times in a row. He's been going for... Yeah, I mean, the, the alternative was the air dodge, and I don't think it was going to work that time. Although we haven't seen him air dodge much. You want to oh. you want to save those alternatives though because uh, if like, let's say you use it and you die, it's no longer a mix up. He's like, oh, I'm I'm waiting for it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good dash dance, but the yeah. platform messes up. I like that Kel's backed off that pressure too. Oh, the trade. The trade into just death. Plup is so good at capitalizing off those trades. Dude, it just really hurts when you're space animal and you trade and you're like, oh, I'm in the air and cheeks on the ground. <laughs> like, cheeks on the ground. <laughs> Not anymore. You're in the air and you're dead. Good fourth throw. Oh, okay. Better air dodge. That air dodge was so good. Yeah. I like how he did the inward angle, too. Yeah. Gets him further into the stage. Because the platform made it so confusing. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, and again. Ooh. Plop tried to counterattack. You see him come up with that fair. Dude, if he got fair, it would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been awful. But Kel's managed to get the correct spacing for it. Good tech chasing. What's the solution to this tech chase? Uh, he's done Wake Up Sheik, Shine. I think if the Sheik does it right, that there's nothing Fox can no. do. No. It's reactable, too. It's reactable. Yeah. What you want to do is DI behind and do Wake Up Shine. Because he's, he's trying to do Wake Up Shine right now, but he's being beaten on uh, the same frame. Oh my god, he di that dash tag so far. <laughs> he did. He's going to die for it, too. You want to DI out, but not that far. I don't think it mattered how far he di out. Uh, he could die. Oh, he does get back. Wow. Okay. If he can get any percentage here. No. Nope. He missed the sweet spot. Yeah. All right. Potentially Kel's last stock of the tournament. Oh, you went for the cancel. down tilt. What the heck? Up the easy crouch cancel. Oh, wow. Bluff's ready for these shines out of shield, not from Kells, too. He doesn't... Okay, hold on. Nice spacing. Ooh, he's getting them. Good stock so far for Kells. It's so hard for Fox to convert off up there on Sheik, though. Yes, I agree. Oh, that's going to be it. No! Oh, he tacked and fared him! That was sick. What did he tech off? Of? The side of the stage. I mean, what did the what did ball. Kelly hit him with? Firefox. Firefox can't hit him. Oh, oh, oh the second yeah. part. Second part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the initial Firefox yeah. when it started up. 
That was a pretty cool way to close it out, I guess. Plop takes it 3 1 in first set of grand Dude, finals. Dude, really convincing. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sure. I'm out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye, Gary.